Ugh. I think Badcart used up all its powers in the demo. Yeah, he, man, the demo. The demo did some good work. All right, let's update our stuff here. <clears throat> Ghosts and Goblins Arcade. Please don't blow up. Okay. <laughs> Super Gun didn't blow up. H, 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 yeah. H. <clears throat> It too early to feel safe. All right, yuck. Get ready. You're gonna get yours. <laughs> wow, nice wit. Ten way tie on the scoreboard. Wow, this is awfully dark. Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Let me. It's a shame you have no way to immediately correct that. Yeah. <laughs> which which adjustment do I want to use here? God, the jump is so not floaty in this game. <laughs> After watching SG and G, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, this one. There we go. That will work. Incoming Amarak crash? Nope. It probably muted again, though, so I should double check that. Yep, it muted. Thanks. Man. Nice. Alright, so this is... Arcade Ghosts and Goblins, but the Japanese version. Um, <laughs> Rum is seventh place. Man, that is <laughs> Rum is always at the top. Rum, I don't know. After Clage is done, Rum's going to be pretty close to the bottom. <laughs> no, Rum would not still be on the scoreboard. Sir. Yeah, no, it would gone. be gone. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time you're playing your Japanese, card or Japanese board on stream? That is my response. All right. Um, on stream, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Yes. So. Thunderstorm time. Oh, yes. Um. Um, my splits. My splits don't work. Okay, we're gonna restart. Good start. Nailed it. Ran into first enemy. No, my, I was pushing the split thing and it wasn't uh, doing the thing you still ran into the first enemy <laughs> yeah it was just <laughs> was holding right all right let's go we got this we were actually discussing earlier what is what is the true program of the decade skype or amarek so i'm playing on the hardest possible dip settings i'm sure this will go fine Um, Are we doing all weapons in this run, too? God, no. <laughs> As you say that, he drops a torch. Oh, poor torch. All it right. just isn't up to snuff in this game. <laughs> the Amarek, or the Amarek, fucking Aramur wobble in this game is so good. Yeah, the Aramurs, if you don't kill them a very specific way, you're just, you're just unavoidably dead. The Aramurs are absolute dicks in this. Now, Japanese version is more difficult than the American version. So I find that the stages are more difficult, but um, the boss of stage uh, five and six is possible to beat. So oh, nice. <laughs> overall, it is yeah. a net gain. <laughs> yeah. More difficult, except the parts which become actually possible. <laughs> what? Uh, are job. there? Yeah. Are, is there a ton of changes between this and the American version, or is it just like subtle stuff? It's it's. Subtle stuff here and there. The first five stages are pretty much the same, except for, uh, like, stage six is really different. A lot mm. of the spawns are different. Um, the other the other differences until then are relatively minor. The biggest thing... I shouldn't have killed that enemy. He's going to spawn a bad guy. Um, the major thing is that I can't despawn the boss of stage four. Like, in the U.S. Ah. version, you can just, like walk far enough that the, the boss music plays and then just leave. And the game's like, all right. Yep. Good enough That's for fine. me. <laughs> I see no problem with this. Um, but you can't do that here. The game's like, hey, hold on. We played the boss music. There's supposed to be a boss here. I think my favorite part about Arcade Ghosts and Goblins is that Compared to most of the arcade games that PJ plays, this one almost looks fair. 
Yeah, and then you get to stage six. Yeah. And then the game's like, hey, guess what we can do? Everything yep. that you don't want us to do. <laughs> Correct. You just try not to get stuck in the platform. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm taking this slow because sometimes yep. you get stuck. Or, okay, sometimes you thread the needle, which is not possible wow. collision detection here. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. You did it. Like, if, you're, if your head touches a platform, the game will zip you onto it. Um, so that jump was actually not possible to miss. Ah, <laughs> oh, bad cart is uh, transferring itself over. I told you, my board's an asshole. Yeah. Like, we already saw a bit of thunderstorm, which shouldn't happen in stage two. You say that. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm Mac just said he's on his way. Compared to some of PJ's other offerings in the arcade world. Fair does not mean well programmed. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, Thunderstorm is here! <laughs> it's too early to feel safe! Oh my god. Okay, oh, everything man. everything's gonna be okay. Just deep breaths. No, it's not. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Honestly, this is one of the more fair GG games. This? Oh god, no, this is the hardest in the series. Is it really? Yeah. You make it look so fucking not... Yeah, no, this know. this is hands down the hardest in the series. Huh. On the US version, it's borderline impossible to beat. Yeah, well, that's true. You, you can definitely get unwinnable patterns in this Yeah, game. that's There's true. Something yeah. that doesn't really happen in any of the other games. That's true. And then, like, Ghouls and Ghosts is, I don't want to say a pushover, but compared to the rest of the games. It is. Yeah, that's true. I, I always kind of forget about Ghouls and Nice! Ghosts. Nice! Good good work, Bat. Wow. Straight through the floor. Sick unblockable. <laughs> I guess it's probably right. just because this game is so short in comparison that it seems like it's not as bad. Um... Yeah, it's like all the the enemies are fixed, but if you miss, oh, okay, that was a miracle. If you uh, if you miss a kill, then your whole like enemy kill pattern is screwed up, and the game's just like, hey, guess what we can do? Whatever we want, because you don't know what we can do, right? <laughs> nice wiggly leg jump. <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? I don't know. I I've actually never seen that. <laughs> I'm disappointed that's not the default jump animation. I know, that that's so good. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. Yeah. He was trying to pick air versions, man. Wow, god pattern on snake. <laughs> Bad day, holy shit. Oh, you, um, uh, you might have seen lances appear on the side of the screen at the beginning of this stage. Um, if you attack at the end of the previous stage, sometimes your weapon appear. Thunderstorm here? What? How? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Danger mode. <laughs> God, stage How five. How is thunderstorm in a cave? So, right, um... Here. Uh, quick warning. If you have, uh epilepsy or sensitivity to flashing lights you might not want to watch the next two stages because yeah. things are going to be happening here nice i got the shield so this is uh one of the problems i'm missing one of the eproms that i need for a full conversion of uh full conversion to the japanese version so um this weapon is normally a uh a cross as you can see at the bottom but I'm missing the uh, the EEPROM that actually makes it throw a cross. So it still throws a shield. But the game oh. is functionally identical to the Japanese version. Oh. Did that, did, it's just a, was that just not part of what you ordered, or did they just not have it? It's just a... a, a well, so I'm playing on my, my original Ghosts and Goblins board. Price pattern? Wow. Holy gonzo. Wow, the thunder. Holy shit. If you think that's thunder, buckle up. It's gonna be a rough ride. 
<laughs> oh god. Okay, so this is where this is where things happen. Yep. Also, right shout right out down to here. The resub. Oh, I get a resub. Yep. Four months from Necrate. Oh, sweet. Hey, thanks, man. Um, I'm gonna need it's your recommendations on. Uh... <laughs> you may Necrate's have to pay a, attention uh... or something. Like Necrate's a jazz guy. I'm gonna need recommendations on some new music to listen to. All right. Thunderstorms are just so good. I'm actually really worried because the the game is giving me really good patterns. You're getting off easy today. It's gonna save it all up for tomorrow when you've got like six runs. You mean when I have Draken that breaks another cart? Correct. That card is gonna yeah. be in, that card is gonna be in ruins. All right. So Clage, you've seen this boss fight on the U.S. version. Yup, I have many times. It angers me greatly. Well, what? No, I disagree. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. No, that is not how that works. That yeah. is not how that works at all. So, in the in the, the Japanese version, that boss only takes four hits, and it counts correctly. In the US version, it takes eight, and it doesn't count correctly. So it's it's really sometimes up to, like, 20 hits. Eight, eight in the biggest quotation marks you've ever seen. Yep. Oh, thunder! Wow. Yeah, I remember the first time PJ streamed his... his uh, this arcade. is not the pattern I was expecting from you. I was, wow, I was on... this thunderstorm is intense. Yeah. That, trust me, loop four is going to show you. Yeah, I remember the first time I watched PJ stream this game. I was on vacation, and... Uh, he just smoked through the first, like, five levels because he practiced off-stream. And then just, like, gets to that, and he could not beat the two armors. Like, they would yep. not let him. It wasn't like, oh, PJ's a scrub. No, they were not Yeah, no, it, completely impossible. This game he can do that. Like, in the U.S. version, um, there are a number of patterns from the armors that are literally indefensible. They just yeah. swoop at your height faster than you can possibly imagine to move. I watched the giant Aramur give PJ, like, a good pattern. Like, he hit him with at least 16 shields and just nothing. And then he just ran into him and killed him. I don't know what they did with giant armor programming on the American version, but they fucking boo booed hard. <laughs> don't worry. They they made up for it. Because these, these ones just do nothing. <laughs> Yep. Yep. So they move literally about half half the speed of uh, of the U.S. Aramers. Resolve your battle. Nope. That's some fucking art systems opening round shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> Resolve your battle. Determine the strong. Fight. <laughs> All no, right. no, it's gotta be it's gotta be like resolve your battle and then instead of like round you have to use a completely inordinate term to describe round like I don't know groundhog. 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 Oh god thunderstorm <laughs> <laughs> Wow So yeah, uh this game does things and uh one of them is this thunderstorm thing that you see us talk about and you can kind of see the uh the flashing yellows that happen sometimes um that's that's a known thing in boards of this game and uh i'm not really sure what causes it but i'm assuming it's like sprite overload or something um because it only seems to do it in like really really high intensity areas uh this is uh i'm actually gonna take the torch here oh huh. Wow, torch is different. I couldn't throw another one because one was still burning for a few pixels. Huh. Uh, so this is actually the hardest part of the game in the Japanese version. 
Um, I see why Torch is not a great weapon in this game. <laughs> yeah, Torch is uh, borderline unusable. Yeah, only being able to throw one weapon at a time is a problem in games like this. Yeah. You can you can throw two, but it just burns oh. for a thousand years. Well. So what? There's so there's torch, lance, cross, or, or shield, I guess. Yep. Hey, it's it's the Capcom thingy. Yeah, the Yashichi. Oh, Yashichi, that's what those are. I couldn't remember they were called. Um. Daggers. Daggers, yes, that's right. Okay. Um, and also hatchet. Oh, there is hatchet in this. Game. Oh, oh okay. God, yeah. <laughs> so so hatchet. <laughs> hatchet. Every time you start an explanation out, so the weapon, you know something good's coming. Yep. Hatchet is torch, except instead of burning on the ground, it just pierces and goes through the floors and everything. Which means you can't attack cancel it. You can't do anything. You throw the hatchet and then you pray to God that it killed the enemy or that he is going to forgive you. Wow. Um, I'm actually so going to just get a not torch so here. It just doesn't here. respond to hitboxes of any type. It just goes until it leaves the screen. Well, here. I'll show. Oh, God. Oh, good. Oh, good. Huh. Um, it just it just goes. Um, Interesting. You want me to get one on screen? Why do they not want to give me an actual weapon here? <laughs> you you fell for a trap. Yeah, you fucked up, buddy. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, what? I I have never seen that. <laughs> Two. Two out of the same window. Yeah, two uh, out of the same what, window. That's what you get for hanging around that neighborhood. Yeah, this is a bad hotel. <laughs> God, give this me a dagger or something, a lance. This is what the HEQ hotel is going to look like. When that window is the worst window. <laughs> Please, I need, I need a not hatchet. A torch would be fine. Just not hatchet. I was assuming it would be quick to get a replacement, but it's not. <laughs> you assumed wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Oh my god, this weapon is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going towards that one window. I've seen what happens over there. <laughs> this guy's got something. It's, it's even just sitting half open. I'm not going over there. <laughs> It was half open, they closed it. Yep. Huh. Oh! Yes! Alright, worth. Hey, a weapon. I will gladly use all my lives to get dagger. <laughs> Time yeah. for the run back. Only lost three lives getting a real weapon again. Congratulations. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Oh man. I remember trying to get past those windows on the NES version too. Those are a problem. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Interesting health. What? <laughs> Interesting hitbox. Like, invincible. All right. Well, <clears throat> the good thing about arcade games is that you can pay them money and then you win. Man. Arcades were the ultimate form of capitalism. They they bought <laughs> a business model that you just cannot make work in any other way, and yet is completely ingenious. Yep. 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 All right, time for no mercy mode. I had to get that hatchet stench out. Now there's thunderstorms. <laughs> But yeah, like, Japanese games especially did it really well, because, like, they always tempted you with this idea that, yeah, you could beat it on one quarter. Yeah. It's possible. Good luck. Meanwhile, in America, we made Terminator 2. Yeah. Yeah. And a whole bunch of other light gun shooters that you can't actually beat on one credit. Because fuck you, that's why. 
We don't like fun. Nope. That is hey, why we are here. If you're old enough to have enjoyed arcades, you can laugh anytime you hear somebody say pay to win and bitch about it. It's like, yep. you, know, you know nothing about literally, what yeah. is. <laughs> literally impossible to complete the game without giving them a bunch of money. Yep. yep. Oh, I was wondering why the game was stuck, but I apparently wasn't lined up with the key when I drank my beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please, not this way, no! Alright, let's see if we get Unstoppable Bat this time. Worst superhero ever. Yeah, Revolution X is another one of those fucking terrible light games that's basically impossible to hit to finish in one credit. Smash TV, where it's legit RNG if it's possible or not. Yep. Interesting trap oh, yeah. basket. The training health is a classic of American arcade game design. Yeah. yeah. Konami converted games to that like crazy because, yeah. Yep. Holy traps. Wow, that armor. <laughs> yeah. He had wrecked. He wanted it. So that one, that one when you play in max difficulty, this is this is actually loop four that I'm playing on right now. Um, if I were playing on uh, the first loop, it, this game would literally not be a challenge for me at all, like in any regard. Um, the default dips are just really 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 simple a lot of the enemies just don't react to anything that you do yeah so the, the hardest did start you on loop three right yeah okay um so somebody asked about why terminator 2 was impossible and i will explain quite simply the amount of time it takes you to kill an enemy in terminator 2 is is non-zero like you, you have to shoot an enemy multiple times in order to kill them and a lot of enemies come out and just immediately start doing damage to you yeah so even if you play legitimately perfectly like you do everything absolutely perfectly you are guaranteed to take damage yep. no matter what yeah somebody actually tried to task the game and they're like nope not possible yep. in one credit yep <laughs> Yeah, and in an arcade game, like, the problem with an arcade game is once you can no longer 1cc it, like, you basically have destroyed any and all reason to play it, not just for, like, time, but any kind of competitive nature. Yeah. Because then your default becomes credit feeding. Yep. Yeah. That's why you see any of the, the speed runs that, like, PJ and Murph and people have done with arcade games. They always, pretty much yeah. universally, they do them on 1cc. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do speed runs that are not, but most of the people who are into arcade games that actually played them any time other than just picking them up for speed runs are pretty much like, if you did anything with the game and it wasn't completed in one credit, then you're a joke. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, there, there are people who have done, yeah, not cool. one CC speed runs, but yeah. for, I mean, for the most... I'm For okay with games. it in the yeah. situation where there's a specific reason that you're doing it. Because, mm -hmm. like, there are some games where, you know, just, like, the 1cc strats are so dumb. Yep, true. But if it becomes, like, just throw lives at the game until you win. Yeah, it's just so easy for it to be, like, well, if you're going to do this, then why don't you just, you know, yeah, credit further. Like, it's, it is a very slippery slope. Like, um, Strider 2, actually, I know there's a couple of places where you, you just take game overs on purpose because oh it, like, warps you forward. Right. Yeah, Strider 2 was a weird... That was a completely undodgeable pattern. Yeah, I don't know what you were going to do about that one. Yeah, that, uh... Just hang out in your hitbox. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing... There's nothing you can do about a lot of those. He's like, hey, hey, you want to see my thunder? Here's my thunder. Also, you're dead. Yeah, the thunderstorm. The thunderstorm was a nice addition to that fight. Um, the the bigger problem was that I wasn't able to break any of his tail pieces off because he just didn't give me a pattern for it. Right. Uh, which makes his swoop completely indefensible. 
Um, he's actually a really hard fight in this stage. I don't, I don't know why he's more aggressive, but he is. I'll try just standing in place this time. I like how he came with a, uh, a fucking pot this time. Right. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you just have to go for it and hope that he's just going to move out of your way. Those bosses are completely random, but when you fight him in, um, in stage six... He's not random there. Nice height pellet. That was a godly setup. Wow. <laughs> All right, now here is where we get to the real thunderstorm. That was some Marvel 2 shit right there. Call assist. Goodness gracious. <laughs> this stage is out for blood. <laughs> the harpoon, the harpoon row is just. Those so enemies good. are the goddamn strangest thing I've ever seen. Like the burrito monsters. Yeah, they're <laughs> just. It's, what is this design? Like it's the burrito monster. I know it is. Somebody was really hungry and they were making enemies and they're like, "Hey, I guess a burrito." Man. Yep. I the guess. deadliest of weapons. In it the is the deadliest of weapon. I can attest to this. I've hung out in our hotel. So the thing about this stage is that you don't dare attack enemies unless they're directly on the way. Because if you kill an enemy, the game's like, Hey, guys, he stopped moving! Quick! Spawn everything! <laughs> Sick dodge. So that was, uh... Well, that was on. one of the few unblockable Japanese patterns. Hmm. When he's below you like that, to that extent, there's nothing you can do to dodge it. Because the time it right. takes you to climb a ladder is significantly longer than the time it takes for him to target you climbing a ladder. Um, so I literally just had to hope that I was going to kill him before he did anything. Shoutouts to there being nearly 500 people watching this mess. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the dead body concept that my late night streams used to get where my numbers <laughs> would go up because people would fall asleep watching the stream. Oh, oh, yeah. True. But these people are actually dying. Not many people target the uh, the 6 o'clock sleepers. We hit our target audience, boys. Yes. <laughs> All right, Grandma, I got your stream. <laughs> Uh, we've made a poor life choice. Well, that's why you're here. That's that is the whole purpose of this weekend. All right. Hopefully, this armor won't be aggroed when I'm already climbing the ladder this time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. One stage left. Yay! I'm gonna take this opportunity to take a quick restroom break before I set up my stuff. I'm already overestimate because I got the hatchet to show you jackass is what it looks like. <laughs> hatchet was so good. Oh my god. Okay. Thunderstorm plus ladder zip combo. Yeah, these thunderstorms. I, I will never get over the thunderstorms. This no, never. never. Games should never be allowed to do things like that. Yep. They've actually been really, really tame this time. They've been really tame. They're normally super unblockable. Okay. So yeah, this this tower stage has a bunch of extra enemies in the Japanese version, and it's also missing some. So the tower is a pretty different, pretty different stage. But the actual like layout is not change, right? Just the enemy layout. Right. Yeah. Just the enemies.
Man, it's it's not fair how easy those bosses are now. No, it's not. It pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> it pisses me off that the game is completable. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It was just like watching BJ just get stuck for two hours after crushing the rest of the game was like, I don't know. I like was... the thunderstorm as soon as this segment started. Yep. Like, not even having control, just a surprise <laughs> yeah. thunderstorm. Resolve your battle. <laughs> this story is happy end. Wow, that boss fight was weak. <laughs> is he always yeah. that easy? Like, is that fair? He's, he's pretty easy, yeah. Hmm. Oh, God. Well, first... This one's a real alarm. Uh-oh. It's no longer 6 o'clock. That marks the end of my block. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Cleach! <laughs> Y'all are fucked now. Oh my god. What an ending. Yeah. Oh man, this one, this one's a good one. This is a really good one. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's impressive. Holy shit, man. Yeah, no, Why this- light on fire? <laughs> hey, hey. He knows that he's no longer tied to the computer, so. Yeah. Alright, let me get some stuff here. Turn on good old Amrec, the greatest program. Oh, I guess here, you know what? I'm I am sub to Rom still for some reason. There we go. For some reason. Accurate. All right. BJ, let me know when you're ready for me to. Uh, oh, I'm good. Turn on. I'm good, but the, uh, you know, if my apartment burns down in the middle of it, then. <laughs> Um, I, I do have to screen cap, but you're good to go live. All right, one second, I'm gonna adjust Wait, some gonna audio because dual... Skype's a little bit lower. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, dual... oh, that's right. I have to switch over all the audio stuff. Um, you, you really shouldn't, because I should be able to do it with just game audio. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, let me. I instructed him how I set up just got game audio. So. Okay. Yep. So let me He's... fire. I'll fire up, and you let me know what needs adjusted, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start uh going live now. Oh, yeah, for anyone who is actually confused about what just happened, um, I live across the street from the fire department. Which should not surprise anybody. 